Okay, so I have the Garmin 305 Forerunner here, which is a GPS running watch. Amongst other things, tracks your running, biking, or another sport. Um, I use mine predominantly for uh, running. Um, so what I've got here is the actual watch. So and you can see on the screen I've done a 36 minute run, and uh, that I did 4.53 miles in that time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to upload all this information via my little dock to my laptop which is just here. So I've connected it, let's see if this will upload the data from the run. Okay so you can see there's a little ticker box ticking along, getting all the information from the watch. So what this should bring should show me my pace, the elevation and how many calories I burned whilst I was running. So this comes packaged with the uh, Forerunner, as and when you buy it, and so does the um, the little dock that charges it also. So we've got the message there saying the history data has been successful. So what we've got here, if we click on the map tab, let's click on that, got my little route, so you can see the run there that went partially along the A40 and near the A406. If you upload this to the actual online Garmin website, you'll get a satellite thing as in like Google Maps so you can actually see the landmarks that you've run around. So the most notable landmark for me would probably be something like uh, the Big Asda at Park Royal. Um, okay, so then if you go along the bottom, you can see my the data from the uh, map. Let's try and zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a bit more there. So if I make it a bit bigger and then come out a bit. So what we've got there, we've got the green line which is the elevation of the uh, of the course. So you can see it was pretty hilly, it wasn't very flat and the blue line signifies my pace throughout the whole of the uh, run. So you can see it's pretty evenly paced. Got it there, so 0 to 10, probably around 8 minute 30 miles apart from where I stopped to stretch there about a third of the way into my run uh, You can see here. There's the pace on the for the blue line and if I go over to the right Oh, it's got the pace there as well Okay So if I change that to the elevation There we go. So if I go there you can see the elevation in feet So I the highest point I went to was 200 feet and I went as far down as probably around 80 Feet. But as you can see there, started off pretty up and down, then I got to a high point, then I went downhill, then I had a gradual climb up and I ended up on a high, the highest part of the run. Which you can see I started off from the same place to where I ended on the green line. Okay, so that's the map. So if we go to my totals in the run, which I've clicked on up here, so let's take this down here. Got all the totals, so see there, 4.553 miles on the 17th of May, uh, 18.23, so 36 minutes exactly. Average pace was 7.56 a mile, so the average speed is 7.5 miles an hour. Max speed was 24, which is probably not right, I'm not as fast as that. And calories burned is 693. So then if you go down from that, it's got the each time each mile was lapped. So the first mile ran in eight minutes and five seconds. The second mile ran in eight minutes. The third mile in eight minutes and nine seconds. And the last one, which my my fastest one was 7.49 as a whole mile, but the fastest pace of all of them, that extra 0.53 that I talked about at the start, that was done in 3 minutes 56 at an average pace of 7 minutes 25. So basically, over the mile, the watch will work out my average pace and tell me. So when I'm on long runs, I can decide how long it goes. And if we go further to the right, we've got the calorie breakdown per mile. So you can see the first mile is where I burnt the more calorie, most calories. This is probably because there was the most elevation on there. So if we go a bit further along, we'll be able to see the ascent. Yeah, so as I thought, the ascent was 174 feet, which was the most out of all the other ones, so I burnt the most calories as I was running up a hill, which is harder. So that's the Garmin Training Center, which comes with the 306, a nifty bit of kit for any of you budding runners out there, and anyone that fancies taking up the marathon distance next year.